Please, don't try anything you're about to see us do at home. Before the break, Adam's safety test was complete. But what's next? So, here's the item that bridges the gap between man and machine, dreams and reality. We're going to slip it over Jamie's head, attach it to the input on the dream reader, and read the results. How's the fit, Jamie? I kind of like it in here. It's private. It's a little tight, though. That's odd. They said it was one size fits all. Oh well, doesn't matter. You'll be asleep soon anyway. Hey, you guys see my robot? No, Grant. I haven't seen any robots today. While the boys slaved over their system of slumber, Carrie was teaching the animators the miracle of Photoshop, which is why you now see everyone's lips moving. There's only one way. There's only one way. Hey, I need that back. I've got a BattleBots competition next week. Adam. What was all that? Oh, nothing. Just the build team farting around again. Heine, you asleep yet? <laughs> now, while Jamie sleeps and the Dream Reader collects the data, we're going to test another myth. We've all heard that two objects, regardless of mass or density, when dropped simultaneously, should hit the ground at the same time. Well, while most people use a rock and a paper clip, we're scaling it up in true Mythbusters fashion and testing two myths with one Heine. Narrator, that's your cue. The team built an elaborate tower out in an open field to test the myth that two objects dropped simultaneously will hit the ground at exactly the same time, regardless of size or weight. Coming up on Mythbusters. I don't want to do a girl's voice. Which will hit the ground first? This 500-pound commercial-grade washer-dryer combo... Or Jamie. 